Now set for Simone Biles on uneven bars. Just think about what she's accomplished. Now 26 years of age. Spring Texas is where she is based. Calls that her hometown now. Seven time Olympic medalist. Four of them gold. Five time world all around champion. Oh by the way. Seven U.S. all around titles. There's not enough notes or no. paper in the world to write all of Simone Biles accolades in one place. There's just not. She's incredible. There it is graphically up there. I mean, 25 world medals, 19 of those gold, four name skills and code of points. We'll have another one if she does it in international competition on vault. So just a little list, a short list of what she has accomplished. And obviously her impact for many reasons goes well beyond just those numbers. Yeah, she breaks barriers in this sport beyond the titles, beyond the medals. And I think the way that she always tries to pursue greatness, not just in her skills, but in the way that she carries herself and being a good example, being a good teammate, that is what makes the difference. Now that moment, the return underway. She's doing a good job moving through this bar team. Wow, oh, great save. And a huge smile on her face. There was a moment of doubt. And she fell through it. You can tell she was like, oh gosh. But the way she was able to fight through that, push up tall through her arms. It's Simone Biles, what can you say? Ron Landy, you, you saw his reaction. Yeah, the routine was going well. Good release moves right here. Nice distance away from the bar. Here's where we saw a little bit of the problem. So let's check out what happened. She gets her toes on. Looks like she just twists a little too early for that full pirouette. But again, that was extremely minimal minimal deduction in comparison <laughs> to what most athletes that make this mistake would happen. Usually you would get somebody that just falls straight over the top, but not Simone. She pulls it back on. Yep, <laughs> there's the reaction. How big is that too, to, to get through that opening routine, coming back, having a moment like that, and then fighting through. Well, I've got to imagine she has a lot of nerves, especially getting back into competition. A lot of fans are in the stands, so I think it's a job well done to finish her routine, but you can tell by her face she's not happy with that, and she expects more of herself. Just in an entirely different situation than anybody else in terms of attention. I mean, you, you come into competition knowing you are the focus of everyone. It's people watching you two days ago. I mean, you arrive in town and then podium training all the little kids who are here competing as well, just taking pictures and watching your every move. The host athletes were here early for their competition, watching her vault, and it was like they were at the Taylor Swift Eras concert, <laughs> watching Simone Biles vault. I mean, I did the same thing, but they were so giddy just getting to watch their idol compete once more. This event, of course, the balance beam is known as the most mental, mentally taxing event. And while she was standing there chalking up, I saw her dancing, grooving with her coaches. Cecile Landy was standing there and told me that she looks at photos from the past quad and she can tell how anxious she is versus now she looks so calm, so serene competing. A lot of times getting older in this sport is not necessarily a good thing, but the maturity that Simone has grown from, it sounds like from our coaches, it's been the best thing that could have happened to her. Nice 
triple series. Wow, she was really crooked on that side aerial. You couldn't see it and there was no deductions or wobbles at the end, but she was able to pull that back on. We know she's capable of more difficulty, but not sure she could have done that any better, Terry. Place gets really quiet, and then it gets really loud. It's very cool. It's just a bunch of Simone Biles fans. They're so excited to see her back in competition. It was like that during warm-ups, too, before the competition even got underway. Mentioned Cecile Landy, and we talked to her a couple of days ago, asked her, does Simone Biles continue to amaze you? She said every single day. Starts off strong with that wolf turn. We saw some problems with that skill in particular for some of the other athletes, but not Simone Biles. Follows it up quickly with that backhand spring layout, layout. This is the only issue I saw. You could see she landed in a pike position. I'd like to see her vertical, but really minimal deductions and no wobbles at the end. She can add that to the tally of hit routines for Simone Biles. She's got a long list going. Well, and tonight, a different importance attached to it, I think. It, you know, you come back and it's one thing to do it in practice and to feel well prepared, but to do it under the lights in competition is quite another. It's really tough to simulate this environment and knowing what she's coming back from must add another level of pressure. But again, she's been working with a therapist and she's really been focusing on that mental training to help her compete calm. And her coaches said it really helps her deal with situations in the gym. That time away from competition, she got married. Jonathan Owens, NFL player, signed with the Packers. I'll say that quietly here in Bears territory. But. So the number four, Simone Biles, how about that? 14.8, Sam. Yeah, I mean, it's not too shabby, Terry. I mean, geez, that difficulty, 6.5. They all know in the building what we're expecting to see. Let's see what happens. And I thought the amount of cameras I saw around the building were a lot on floor, but it's doubled now here on Vault. Of course, she has to do this at an international competition in order for it to be named after her, but she is on that journey. Here we go. Absolutely incredible. Just when you think she can't take it to the next level, she does. It was better than the first time she competed it. And I didn't even know that was possible. I don't have words to really depict how difficult this vault is. No female athlete has ever done it before. When, I'm gonna say if, but when she competes this internationally, it will be another skill named after her. arms on the table and look how high she gets off that vault table. We talk about the importance of body position when you land and she's adding another flip to her vault and still gets her chest up on the landing. I think she was smiling before her feet hit the ground too. <laughs> may have been. Laurent Landy was. No, Iran were. Incredible stuff. 
and the build up to that final event to get to that final apparatus on ball when everybody in the building knew it was building up to that and would she be able to do that or not and she does i mean it's an incredibly difficult vault so the athletes here were watching judges from other events were watching as if it matters but there's the number Jordan Childs hyping up the crowd again. She wants more for her girl, Simone. Come on, she's making history here. My goodness, what an unbelievable moment. We've seen her do a few of those, Sam. I'll tell you what, the moment I saw it, I said, that's the best one she's ever done. As great as the other ones were, it exploded off the vault table. Let's take another look here at what she is doing so your Chenko style ball round up onto the board and what makes her so great is watch this see where her hands are compared to her feet like she is right in that angle I'm trying I'm so I'm so excited I can't even draw <laughs> look at that angle her feet are still close to the vault board and that is just the speed of getting to the vault table is unbelievably impressive now watch the height she comes off the vault table. Laurent, her coach, almost goes out of the frame. You can't it's, even see the vault table in the frame, John. You don't know that she's on that event. I could do jumping jacks on the vault table, and she'd go right over me. But here she is coming down from about 15 feet in the air and the impact, and that just gives you a great look. It's almost down to her knees into that mat. But I tell you what, unbelievably done. And I just want you guys to chew on this for a second. She's got a 59.1 in the all around. Does anybody here know what the winning world championship all around score was in 2022? Well, I'm going to tell you. You do. It was a 56.899. She absolutely obliterated it. And I'll tell you what. At the beginning of the show, I said she's doing the best gymnastics in the world. Well, I'm here to tell you what I wanted to say, because she is the best gymnast in the world. And today, she showed everybody she has not gone anywhere. She is back, and my gosh, the next 12 months, hold on. Simone, what was it like just getting back out there today? Yeah, it felt really good, especially after everything that's happened over the past year. So everyone that was cheering, made posters and all of that in the crowd, like it just made my heart melt that they still believe in me. And I got back out here and I did what I was training. So I'm very happy with the result. Why did you decide that a return was right for you? I always kind of knew as soon as everything that happened in Tokyo. So this time I'm doing it for me. I worked a lot on myself and I believe in myself a little bit more. It's just coming back out here and starting those first steps again. Yeah, those first steps on this vault. Can we talk, the, first off, the execution, how? Yeah, we train it so much and Laurent and Cecile are amazing coaches. So I can't owe it all to myself. I owe it to my coaches and my teammates who have the same belief in me day in and day out of the gym. So I'm really proud to be representing WCC. Who came up with the celebration dance? Okay, so that's just a joke. I always do it in the gym. And the girls are like, if you land your vault, please do it. And I almost forgot until Jordan reminded me. But it's just something to keep the girls fun and we could all laugh at and just enjoy each other. You mentioned that you noticed all the signs in here. Yesterday, the juniors were in here. I think I saw one girl cry after you said hi. This crowd is sold out. Can you just continue to go in depth on what this does for you, especially given everything you've been through? It means the world because after everything that kind of transpired in Tokyo, and I, I took a lot, I worked on myself a lot. I I still do therapy weekly um, and it's just been so exciting to come out here and have the confidence I had before that especially after everything that happened reading those comments everybody's still celebrating me and like wanting me to do so well it means the world because I feel like I lost a part of that sometimes and so to come back out here and to just do what I did tonight and have that support from the fans and everybody watching I just couldn't thank them enough what's the status for Paris right now I gotta ask we're still in the working steps. Um, my main goal was this and then championship. And then after that, we'll look on to world and then we'll see. But so far, it's heading in the right direction. But I still have to work on myself. I'm still going to do my therapy. I'm going to put myself first. One day at a time. Thank you. Thank you.